Hey everyone! So I decided that I'm going to do a end of the season vlog. Even though I was MIA all season, I apologize to any of you who actually watch my vlogs. I feel so bad. You my fans are great, you guys are so supportive, and I promise I have a good explanation for why I have been MIA. So, um, where to start? I just got back from Nationals about mm, two weeks ago, or a week ago now, um, and National, it just didn't go the way that I wanted it to, uh, obviously, but I'll get to that later on in this vlog. To start off, um... This season has just been insane. It's been plagued by many a mysterious illness. Um, around, I've been having heart problems, and those, I just, I believe they will plague me forever. I've been told I'm not going to die. I don't think I'm going to die from them, so you know what? I'm just going to survive. But um, basically, the only problem with those is that we just can't catch what we need to catch, when we need to catch it. Um, so... It's just one of those little nuances that I just, I have to live with, but that, that is manageable. Um, around August, though, I started developing these crazy full-on body tremors, um, and I would just start shaking every, I, and I would have these muscle spasms, and I couldn't control anything, and I, I couldn't stand up, I could barely walk, um, or function as a normal human being, so I was getting really concerned, um, and for a while it looked like skating was totally out of the picture, um, so I was devastated. But because of that I had to take about two weeks off after Champs Camp, which was in August. Um, and then I was visiting all different types of neurologists and other, you know, specialized doctors, and we, they couldn't figure it out at all. Um, and, you know, a couple of ideas were thrown into the air, and they're just all so serious, and I didn't, I was terrified that it was something very serious, but... Luckily, um, I don't know if any of you actually pay attention to my tweets, but I sometimes occasionally tweet about this wonderful man. His name is Doc Steve, and he works at Iceworks in Aston, Pennsylvania, where Liberty Summer Competition is held. And this man brought me back from nothing. I, I thought that my season was over, and, you know, maybe even my career. And he um, he's a chiropractor, and he worked on me, and... Um, Turns out I had a vertebrae in my neck that was so, like, I guess it was misaligned, that it was pushing into my spinal cord, and that was causing all sorts of crazy things to happen. Um, at least, that's what we believe. So, um, I guess most people's neck, they're supposed to have a nice curve to it, and mine was absolutely straight. So, we've been trying to kind of fix that and keep that, you know, well managed, and I think we did a good job throughout the season. But, um... By the time we figured out what was going on with me uh, and tried to kind of solve it, NHK just came out of nowhere. Um, and so by the time I did my long program at NHK, I believe it was my sixth run through. I don't know, I just wish I could have skated with this huge neon sign over my head that said, guys, this is the sixth time I've ever done this. Just believe me, I'm not this horrible. Um, mm. So that was a mediocre competition, uh, was not my best, but considering what I had gone through, you know, two weeks before, I was really proud of myself. Um, but anyway, moving on, I went Russia, I had tons of time to train, and I definitely used it all up, and I felt very prepared going in to Rostelecom Cup, and as always, I love going out to Russia, um, the Russian fans are great, uh, extremely supportive. I mean, and NHK was amazing too, don't get me wrong. Um, I was just a little bit focused and preoccupied with my um, problems out there to really enjoy the competition. But I had a great time at NHK, but I had a really, really great time in Russia. Um, so thank you so much to everyone out there. Um, but the competition went well. I was really happy, and I think I accomplished everything that I wanted to with it. So I went home satisfied, and that's always a great feeling to have. Uh, but then I got home. I had a lot of extra time because I didn't end up qualifying for the final, so um, I had some time to train, and I decided, to, since, you know, the season had been so crazy already, I needed a little bit of a break, so um, training slowed down a bit. I didn't completely get off the ice, but I slowed down, um, took a little bit of a, a winter break, um, and then started picking everything back up for Nationals, and everything was going great. Going into Nationals, I felt extremely prepared. I was really excited for the competition, and then I get out there. 
and there's a flu outbreak, and I got the flu while I was out there, so, um, I mean, I don't think that the flu can, you know, really be blamed for the reason why everything happened and, you know, went down the way it did. I think I was a little bit unprepared for, um, skating with the flu, and I think I should have, you know, gotten myself a little bit ready for that, uh, just in case, you never know, so... I think one of the things I'm going to have to work on this year is just being able to take on anything that comes my way. Because um, you never know in competition, you might not be 100%. But um, that's just kind of what you have to deal with. So, uh, coming home from Nationals, got a little bit burned. Uh, but, you know, I think that everyone has a competition like this that kind of gets, you know, it shocks them a little bit and uh, kind of helps them get their heads screwed on, right? So... I think that I am coming away with a lot from Nationals, even though I wish that I wasn't <laughs> um, coming away with this type of stuff, but that is how it is. Um, so I'm just going to use this season now. Most people, uh, there's some people whose seasons are still continuing on, and I, my season is over. So I think that I'm going to use this extra time just to kind of perfect everything. I really want to be known as a well-rounded skater who has the jumps, the spins, and ev everything, and I think that I'm capable of that. I just have to kind of figure out what changes I need to make, how I need to approach different things, and um, I feel like once I figure that out, I'll be set, but still. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I need to work on in the off season, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited, but one of the things I want to change is my short program, because for some reason I cannot get the right equation for this program. Um, so I think I want to try something a little bit more upbeat, maybe, because um, I think that the music that I choose is so menacing and dark that I kind of psych myself out a little bit going into everything and I get this tunnel vision and then it's not the right tunnel vision because obviously I don't have my head in the right place um, but I'm excited I think what I'm gonna try and do is um, try different things with the show programs see what I like and kind of put it into a short program so looking forward to that um, and I think for now that's my that is my recap of the season Hopefully you guys understand a little bit why I was MIA, but hopefully throughout the off season I can kind of get some vlogs in so you guys can see what's going on and what life is like for me. Um, but I'm excited for this next year. I think that this year is definitely, you know, a trial run year. I think I corrected a lot in my technique. Um, the LUTs has improved so much. Triple triples when I'm 100% are pretty, pretty decent. So I think now with these next three seasons leading up to the next Olympics, I just have to master everything in here. <laughs> so um, I will keep you guys up to date on what's going on in my life and I will see you guys soon. Bye!